After celebrating our achievements in Tokyo, John and I began our ride to Nikko National Park. Then from here, we would head towards Ugama's active volcano and find a place to camp along the way. And then on to Ichinuma, home to Japan's Snow Monkey Park. And it's a pleasure, I know. Losing your heart. And then letting love grow. It's been a while since so done one on uh, Japanese trees, apart from the Cercidophyllum japonicum, the um, candy floss tree, your favourite tree. Is that a Harry Potter spell? Say it again. Cercidophyllum japonicum. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it sounds pretty Harry Potter. Yeah, it? it does. From the lowlands, it's all like, like a mix of maples and some like maybe, uh, oh, uh, it would be. Um, uh, Cryptomira japonica, which is... Um, Another Harry Potter spell. Yeah, Cryptomira yeah. japonicum! <laughs> <laughs> and we actually rode through part of the longest uh, tree avenue in the world, and it's all of those cedar avenue, uh, cedar trees, making this, I can't remember, 20, 30 kilometre um, avenue of trees. And these trees are like over 400 years old, planted in the Edo period. And then from there, yeah, you could, as we came up higher, you've got more like, when we got right up high actually, it's like really oak woodlands, pure oak, and it actually reminded me of, um, of back home. Hey. Cheers, buddy. He was actually meant to do that at the end of this talk. Oh, can you do that again, please? <laughs> oh, no, you're going the wrong way. Oh, maybe he's upset. It's like... Oh. He's upset, I've been chatting for too long. Yeah, well, to be fair, you do go on. Yeah, it's, it's probably waiting up there for ages. This is the ground floor. Bamboo is what is the ground floor there. So it's it's just literally that 100% across the whole lot. Well, it looks like in the oak forest. And then you come up a bit high, and it's all larch, Japanese larch. So yeah. just making sure I haven't got any phytophthora on me. Phytophthora. Yeah, remorum. You know, hey, this right. is what I do in my work is uh, disease work. What does that turn you into a toad or something? Okay, so we're nearly 3,000 meters up. It's amazing views here in Japan on this mountain. And like we come up to this volcano and everything. We've been stopping and taking photos and now Budley won't start. And I've just done about, I don't know, half a mile trying to jump it and it won't start. But thankfully we're going down. So hopefully it will just kick in, yeah? You might have to end up uh, towing me if it, if it if it plateaus out. That's right. Hopefully it won't. Look at that bit of the road there. It goes around in a complete loop. I didn't tell you yesterday that when I was going around one of those bends. Yeah. And we were going downhill but there was like a, it went kind of up around the bend. My foot hit the floor and came off the peg. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> 
So I probably was being a bit lazy. You know, sometimes you just have your fit yeah. out. I was like, oh, and like quickly. Shit. Yeah, but it's so I, hard to keep your eyes like on the road <laughs> and like on the scenery at the same it's time. It's the most be one of the most beautiful roads yeah. in the world, isn't it? Definitely. Especially this time of year. Yeah. My face is so cold, I feel like I can't talk properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Budley eventually kicked back into life, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Why is she ringing the bell? I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Ringing the bell. Have you got her? Yeah, I've got her. She goes like like cattle. Yeah. <laughs> Coming to Monkey Monkey Springs, and we've uh, just seen our mon first monkey here. Cute. Oh, they fall from that. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's like me after after I finish eating, picking up all the bits, all the crumbs I've got. After visiting these cute monkeys, we continued our ride towards Mount Fuji, riding through yet more picturesque landscapes as we climbed high up into the volcanic mountains. It was a bit harder finding summer to camp now we were entering a colder season, but eventually we found a little plot of land where we pitched up the tent. In the morning, John and I went for a walk and bumped into a lady who was foraging for mushrooms. She invited us back to her house where we met her husband and we got a grand tour of their stunning home. Shortly later, the lady served up the wild mushrooms with some toast for breakfast. John then had a go on their piano. And then we said goodbye to this friendly couple before jumping back on the bikes to head to Mount Fuji. crashed into the back of <laughs> That was kind of hilarious. Yeah. For some reason I took my foot off the rear brake and then, because I had my camera in my right hand, I then couldn't use the front brake and I was just like, Katie, Katie, Katie! Crashed into the back of her. Um, and what? I thought I was going to go over the yeah. uh, mountain down the sheer drop, but luckily there was a, <laughs> a little wire fence and my feet managed to yeah. take the weight. Budley, he, he came off a little bit worse. It's okay. It's just his mud guard. I'm not. She's okay. Um, I'm fine. I'm always fine. Yeah, but the mud guard, the rivets that hold on this bit have come off, and um, now it's all sitting a bit skew with on the bike. So we're going to try some super glue and some duct tape and just see if that is enough just to get back on. There's a lovely uh, lake view here if you could see it. And we've travelled all the way uh, from the north of Japan. Well, from the area that we're in. Yeah, it's like 130 from, miles. But um, from Nagano, yeah. We come down here to see Mount Fuji, but it's so misty. I don't, we're not going to be able to see it, and we're probably not going to be able to hang around for days to, to, to wait for this mist to go. And then apparently there's some typhoon coming in again. So, apparently, yeah. so yeah, we we like we both said we felt the presence of Mount Fuji. I can definitely feel, I feel it, it at the moment. Yeah. yeah, it's just it feels very humble. But what we definitely did feel last night was an earthquake. It was like a vibration. Did you hear? Honestly, I just felt like two shocks, like one shock, like hours before, and then another shock later on. Was, did you feel? Oh, like I felt a rumble. Oh just no! For like just for like a not for long, but a little rumble. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's interesting. Though. Yeah. 
But the first one didn't make a bang or something. Yeah, the first one like we heard the noise. Yeah, the poof, and it was Oof, like Yeah. And then the second one no didn't hear a noise, but it was like two o'clock in the morning. But it was pretty cool. Be my hands together. Oh, did you squish an earwig? No. Oh, well. I think that might have come out from yesterday. Oh, yeah, we've okay. treated ourselves tonight to a cabin. But it's proper Japanese. There's, there's no bed. It's just a hard floors. It's alright, but. Yeah. yeah. I guess if it's going to rain, it. Keep better than getting sandy, the tent wet again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. She's had a, a hard life the last few months, hasn't she? Yeah. Yeah, you can barely see it. Great yeah. job. Yeah. Just try and leave it to... I'll just hold it. For a bit just hold it for about three hours. I'm <laughs> super. Right, I'll finish the tea that I started making. It's probably cold now. Oh, it is. Probably the first time you super glue, not actually super glued my fingers together. Oh, me too, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, lovely cup of tea. Good. What? Get in the camera. I've got not really much to say. I'm going to go to a Lawson's later. Are we? Are we? Maybe don't. Oh, I'm already getting bitten. Eva's out, it's my really hairy legs. Could be that. We don't know what it is, it's like miscellaneous, but. This 7 Eleven is just so good. <laughs> I just went through my purse with the seats. Was it been all? about 30 7 Eleven. <laughs> Oh yeah. 